In this video, we're going to take a look at doing a two-digit divisor. In this example, we had one digit as our divisor. And the number we're going to start with is 82,680. And we're going to divide that into 15 different parts. We're going to follow the same basic steps that we did in the first example. The numbers are going to be different, but it's the same basic steps. We're going to start with the first digit or the digit farthest to the left in the dividend, and we're going to work our way right. So we're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 15 go into 8? And it goes in 0 times. So we're going to put that 0 up above. So that was the first step. Now we have 82, and we're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 15 go into 82? And I'm going to do a little what I call side math. We're going to do some multiplication and check to see what I can find that comes closest. And I'm going to start with 5 because it's right in the middle of 0 and 10. And since we can't use double digits above each digit, so um, 0 to 9. So I'm going to start with 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So 75 is the closest that we're going to get to 82 without going over. Now these numbers are... Oh, I wrote 72. Sorry guys. 75. There we go. So 82 and 75 are pretty far away from each other. I'm going to borrow from the 8, which gives me 7, and give it to the 2, which makes it 12. So 12 minus 5 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. So that's my second step. And these are the items that belong to that second step. And then I'm going to ask myself what the next digit is. And the next digit is 6. I'm going to bring that down. So I have 76. And if you look, we've already figured out that 15 times 5 is 75. We can use that again with the 76. So 15 times 5 is 75. Subtract that. 76 minus 75 is 1. So that's the next step. And now I'm going to bring down the next digit, which is the 8. And I'm going to have 18 to think about. And I'm going to think, how many times does 15 go into 18 without going over? We don't want anything larger. And that would be 1. 1 times 15 is 15. 18 minus 15 is 3. And even though there's a zero here, it's still a digit in the dividend. Don't forget that zero. You still have to deal with it. You can't ignore it. So you're going to bring it down, and you're going to ask yourself now, how many times does 15 go into 30? And if you don't know your 15s, 30 is pretty close to 15. So I'm going to try 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So 15 times 2 is 30. And so there we have 30 minus 30. And I'm going to go back and finish up some of my color coding. I get a little bit of ahead of myself sometimes. And our last step just happened to be red. And 
And there you go.